this is Lady Boulay, and I hope you're having a great day. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for your thumbs up, for your comments, and thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for all you do to support the channel. And yes, we are commanded to love one another, whether we want to or not, or whether we agree with each other or not. And it is with deep sadness that I learned of the death of Lou Gossett, one of my favorite actors, and in my opinion, one of the best in the business. Lou Gossett played Fiddler in the very popular miniseries Roots, which was just poignant and had us spellbound for the eight episodes that it ran. He taught Kunta Kente how to speak English and in a very gentle way trying to explain to him how his life had changed in his new environment, which was captivity, which, which is what we call slavery. I loved Lou Gossett in that role. He had a sense of humor, but he was also compassionate and kind and patient with Kunta Kente as he adjusted to that horrible environment. I also liked him in An Officer and a Gentleman where he was a drill sergeant in the army who absolutely bullied Richard Gere into becoming a soldier and a man. So he was a he was an outstanding actor and he was going to give you a 100% performance anytime he showed up on screen. Following his death at 87, Lou Gossett has been hailed as a true legend and great for paving the way for black actors in Hollywood. He won an Academy Award for Supporting Actor in An Officer and the Gentleman, the first black actor to take home that award. He also won an Emmy for his role in the 1977 series Roots, which depicted the horrors of slavery, and as I mentioned before, I loved him as the Fiddler. His death was confirmed to the AP News Agency by his first cousin, Neil L. Gossett, who said he had died in Santa Monica, California on Friday morning. Gossett Jr.'s last role was in the 2023 remake of The Color Purple, which is a reimagining of Alice Walker's 1982 put a surprise winning novel of the same name. In it, he played old Mr. Johnson, who is the father of Albert Mr. Johnson, Coleman Domingo, and father-in-law to the main character, Celie Harris, played by Fantasia Barino. Tributes poured in from former castmates, present castmates, and entertainers and fans all over the world. Fantasia wrote, Louis Gossett Jr., what an awesome man you were and the stories you told us. I'll never, ever forget. You left behind so many tokens for us and paved the way for black actors and actresses. You will be missed. But man, did you live a blessed life. That's a very sweet tribute. I believe he was married three times and he has two children, two sons. I believe these are the sons, but I'm not sure. But his death was announced by a family member, so I don't know what his marital status was at the time. But as far as his acting career, he had an outstanding career and I truly did enjoy his performances. He was a gifted actor on stage, screen, and television. I truly did enjoy him as an actor, and I will miss him myself. So all I can say is, well done, Mr. Louis Gossett Jr. Rest in peace. Thank you for listening, and have a great day.